What's up guys, I'm Chris. Did Brian Laundry's parents cut a deal for immunity? A close friend says yes. Also, Don Wells was recently arrested. I covered that and much more in today's video. Also, today's missing person case is Summer Wells. She was last seen in Rogersville, Tennessee, close to her home. She'll be featured at the end of my video. Thank you. What's up guys, I quickly wanted to announce that I'm gonna be moving back to my hometown in Utah in about a month, and then come this spring, um, I'm gonna be going to the Grand Tetons and down south in Moab so I can get exclusive footage right here on this channel only, just for you guys. Thank you. Welcome back to the channel everybody where we cover murder, mystery, to the paranormal. So did the Laundries cut a deal for immunity to find their son Brian Laundry? Many stories are coming out speculating that this is a good possibility. A close friend of Brian Laundry was interviewed by the son and told them that's what he believes happened. He said, we believe his mom and dad struck some sort of secret deal of immunity between either the Florida DA or the FBI. Here's a small clip from Steve Bertolino when asked about this very thing and notice the long pause he gives. There, there has been some speculation out there, and again, I understand you don't like to talk about speculation, that maybe some type of deal was cut, that, that they promised to cooperate with investigators for, to get some type of immunity. Any truth to that? So this close friend of Brian Laundry also said that he would be able to put resources together to get out of the country either illegally or by some sort of fake ID. He also added he's the type of person that would be able to drop everything to secure his means of not being captured or arrested. And since high school had plans of living outside the US like New Zealand or South Africa. This close friend also describes how Brian Laundrie was a heavier set social outcast when he was younger, which makes a lot of sense when you see small clips of Brian Laundrie and Gabby Petito together. You see that she's always closest and Brian's always in the background. Also, I wanted to add a thought I had about the incident at the Mary Piglets as we recently learned after a little interview between the manager and Brian Enton. She claimed that they erased the surveillance video of that night, but just before explains how they tried to dine and dash, basically eat and take off without paying. Don't you think they would keep an incident like that on camera just in case, regardless whether there was a big scene made by Brian Laundrie or not? Anyways, if the FBI told her not to say anything, why do the interview and make that claim? Something definitely stinks for sure. So Don Wells, the father of Summer Wells, has gone on several podcasts and claims he and his wife had nothing to do with her disappearance. But Don Wells was recently arrested for DUI and other charges not related to the case. The family put out a statement claiming they needed cigarettes. Apparently their sons have been put into protective custody as well. The reward for Summer Wells has moved up to 58000 if any other major updates come from this case, I will update you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Shout out to my two newest members, Jody PS and Texas Mud Dabber. And if you want to support my channel, it is really cheap. And in honor of Gabby Petito, today's missing person case is Summer Wells. She was last seen near her home in Rogersville, Tennessee. Please call the number if you have any tips. Thank you so much and take care.